He shuts off Cowboy Kent Rollins in my kitchen. No, baby, you don't have to shut it off. Uh. Your first tamale. I just mopped. Let me show the floor. I just mopped. The floor is spotless. I put a little bit of sour cream on there. Cotija. And mild, Jesus, mild Taco Bell salsa. Sorry, I was trying to unscrew. Okay. And uh, I'm probably gonna end up cutting up. I'm gonna end up cutting it up for him soon. He's eating the sour cream now. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top. This is the hot sauce I made. It's fermented, lacto-fermented. I made it before he was born. I'm just gonna put a little bit so he can get some of that beneficial bacteria. Yeah. Zach is watching, what is it? Cowboy Bebop, who is it? Cowboy Kent Rollins. Cowboy Kent Rollins. Um, cat hair on your mouth. Do you want mommy to give you a little bite? I'm gonna try that. Oh, yummy. Oh, so yummy. He's trying to learn how to do um, smoked salmon. Okay. <laughs> I want everyone to notice. Um, we got white sugar and molasses. We got brown sugar down there in the Lazy Susan. You just have to stir it with a chopstick because it got kind of stuck together. Yeah. I just want everyone to notice that Waylon has a plate and he's sitting at the table to eat, not on the floor. And you're going to see how much of a disaster this is. We bought these from a guy in the Walmart parking lot. And I ate, how many was in the bag? Ten? Seven. I ate seven in a row. Is it too spicy? Let me see. Is it too spicy? What's the matter, man? Is it too spicy? I don't think it was spicy inside, was it? I'll just give him the bread and on the outside. That tastes like tomatillo. It might be a little spicy. Yeah, maybe. I'll just give him the bread and part from now. Because I guess the stuff on the inside is too spicy for babies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so get this out of here. Done with it. He likes the sour cream part. Yeah, just like his daddy. It's alright, Waylon. You'll appreciate spicy stuff soon. We can start giving him spicy stuff now so he builds it up. Spicy is okay, it's not gonna hurt him. Just obviously don't give him like ghost pepper level stuff. Like I gave him mild Taco Bell um, 
What's it called? Hot sauce. Mild flavor. It's like very, very mild. Bless you, my love. I can't find the brown sugar. I told you where it was. It's yep. on the bottom of the Lazy Susan in yep. a mason jar. Yep. Okay, well, that's it. The mail has no. And it's not, it's labeled pure cane sugar. It's not labeled brown sugar. Okay. Do you want to make some with molasses? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, though. It's very simple. Right. You take sugar and you put molasses. Yep, you mix the molasses into it until it gets to the darkness that you like. Yes. Do you have the molasses? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You don't like it? You don't like it? <clears throat> like molasses or stink like it went bad? I don't know what stinks like molasses means. Well, after you mix it up with the sugar, I'll taste it for you. Yeah, this is your breast milk. See, don't worry, you guys. My mommy's not feeding me cow's milk. That's the breast milk. I need it to eat my tamales. My tamales are too spicy. I'm just a baby. See, I'm just a baby. I need sweet breast milk to help me. <laughs> Wayland. <laughs> Say, mommy, more sour cream. Put more sour cream, mommy. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. You can save the you can save the filling for mommy. Mommy will eat it. I like that. Mommy likes it. I'll eat whatever you don't eat. No, please, please, please. Please, 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 Waylon, please. Everyone on YouTube says, why don't you give him a plate? This is why I don't give him a plate. Uh, this is why I don't give the baby a plate. Because it's more work. And it's more messy. And he's a crazy baby. Even tamales. If it's just one tamale, do you say tamales still with the S or no? No, I think it's a tamale. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask my friend that is Mexican. When I'm done making this video, it's racist. It's not racist. She's literally it. from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally Mexican from Mexico. The baby. Oh, that one might be spicy. That one had a little bit of that chicken in there. Say, mommy. Wow, was... this was like a teaspoon of molasses into this sugar and converted this entire mason jar to brown sugar. Congratulations. You have just unlocked the secret to saving money on brown sugar. <laughs> I want to show everybody what Max is doing. He's sleeping in my pumping bag. That's okay. Really that. I know, Waylon didn't like it when I left. He said, you have to give me more fork, forks, mommy. What happened? 
happen? I know. I say, Mommy, it's so yummy. I want to keep eating it for forever. Wow. So if that much makes that much, then this much molasses can make 20 pounds of brown sugar. Yes. So that molasses will last us a long time, and we don't Until have to buy. I'm dead. <laughs> we don't have to buy brown sugar. At the amount that I consume molasses. <laughs> yes, that bottle will last you a long time, unless I suddenly pick up a baking hobby and all my recipes that I'm learning with call for brown sugar. Well, this recipe calls for brown sugar. <laughs> Babe, can you help me reach that sour cream? I want to put some more on for Dead Day Waylon. Uh oh, mommy dropped it. So sorry. What? Reaching the sour cream? Yes, please. It's over by the microwave. I see that. You want some more co Cotilla? Cotija? No. He's got enough. This is what he never had enough Cotilla. <laughs> Mommy, I like that stuff. So I like it. it helps it to be not so spicy, Mommy. Mommy, this is a big food. It's kind of confusing. You're going to have to feed it to me. So next time I'll pick it up myself, okay? So next time I will. But you just pick it up for me this time. <coughs> you want to try a little bit of the chicken? I'll try to dip it in the sour cream so it's not as spicy, okay? Is it okay, Mommy? Is it okay? Pick that up. Do you want to pick that up? You want to do it yourself? Okay, you got some bites. You want mommy to make it more easier bites for the baby? Now that he's nine months old, he can have the pieces of chicken cut like this. Because before. You're supposed to just give them the whole tender, the whole like chicken tender or the whole leg. But now that he's nine months, it says you can give it like this. So I was saving this tamale in the fridge for a couple days, waiting for him to become nine months. Okay, I'll spread it out so that you can see that it's different bites. Okay, now. Can you hand me the, um, the mild, I'm going to put some more just so it's not as dry so he doesn't trip. The mild sauce over there by where the sour cream was. Uh -huh. There you go. As a kid, I used to eat mild hot, mild sauce packets from Taco Bell. Just the whole sauce packet. So, mommy, I love tamales. I love them. See, that's yum. So yum. Mommy got you a bite. You want mommy to feed you a little bite? Baby 
fork, since you want to use a fork. A lot of comments are going to be like, don't let him use the big fork, he's going to get hurt. But we're going to use both forks. Wrong side. Try again. Uh-oh, the baby dropped it. I'll eat it this time. Mm. So yummy. Here. You want this fork? Has food People on it. People on the internet are like doomsdayers. Like, literally everything you do is going to result in weight death. Yeah. A lot of people... Like, some people comment, why would you feed him on the floor? But it really doesn't matter, because when he's in the high chair, if the food falls on the floor, I feed it to him. <laughs> and if he's in this chair, and the food falls on the floor, I feed it to him. Because we don't have money like that to just throw away every piece that falls on the floor. So the best thing we can do is just keep the floor clean. And sometimes if I can't supervise him like this while he's eating, I could give him a safe food that he's less likely to choke on and sit him on the floor and I can go do the dishes or cook breakfast or something. Obviously within the same room. Uh oh. Baby dropped it. Here. Oh, mommy dropped it. Okay, give me the fork. Cause there's no food on the fork. Try this fork, okay? There's food on that fork. Mommy will put food here. See the food's right here. No. Okay, try. Okay, do it like that. Still did it upside down. Doesn't understand. Mommy's yeah, Waylon, you tell her. Mommy's going to take this fork away because there's no food on it and you're hungry. Yeah, you tell Mommy that you're not happy about her taking the fork away. He keeps putting it, the baby fork in his mouth upside down. Waylon loves tamales. Pick it up with your hand. You need some milk? You want more milk? You're getting good at drinking out of the cup, buddy. More nummies? Okay, now he's starting to stand up. This is another reason why I feed him on the floor sometimes, because he doesn't sit at the table. He just gets up. And I'm not going to strap him in the high chair. I actually took the straps off the high chair, because I want to promote freedom of movement. I don't want him to feel trapped and associate any negative feelings with feeding time. I want him to be able to move his body. You want help? Mommy's going to help you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, mommy will put some more food on the fork for you so you can do it yourself. I'm gonna eat this piece. 
And I'm gonna eat this piece. And I'm gonna eat, eat this piece. And then I'm gonna. Are you all done? Mommy will eat the rest of this if you don't want any anymore. <laughs> uh oh, Waylon fell down. Do you want more? Are you all done? Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. You know the last sip? Last sip. All done. There's only a little tiny, tiny, tiny sip left. All done, milk. Are y'all done? Oh, is that so dumb? Uh, yeah. Uh, say bye, everybody. Thanks for watching me eat my first tamale. Say bye, everybody. Okay. Say bye bye. Oh, mommy's gonna eat this. Yummy.